These are the 10 poorest suburbs in Australia according to the ATO recent study. This can be found on the ATO website. The people living in these suburbs are better off living in the Mumbai slums in India. So let's start with our slum dog millionaires. Taking first place is Gurley in New South Wales taking a median income of minus $23,484. That's right, they declared a taxable loss of minus 23k on an average in this suburb. And the next five suburbs have also declared a net taxable income of negative figures. We've got Barron Junction, Boomi, Gilman, Ballada, even Queensland at Glen Morgan. Then from suburb 7 to 10, which is Albert, Jackson, Barica, Kuama, have picked up some income from 9 to 11k. Now, to be fair, these people might not be the poorest in the world. The figures from the ATO are based on people who lodge tax returns, and if they have a small population there, and say only 10% of that population lodge, then therefore, the income recorded is low. But still, people of Gurley, how the heck you have an average taxable income of a loss of 23K? Aren't you guys getting welfare? Uh, shouldn't there be a surplus of income money coming into your bank? And while I'm totally ignorant of where Gurley is, I researched on Google Map, it's actually six hours from Sydney. Oh my God. And if I drop a uh, yellow man over there, there's actually a uh, population over here. And I guess it's not as bad as the slums in Mumbai. Or maybe this hotel owner over here, maybe one business out of the whole town, is claiming a bloody tax loss. And I can bet your bottom dollar this joint is run by some Asian businessman that is from Sydney. Dodgy, dodgy cash business. What do you guys think of this list? Leave your comments here and I'd love to hear your thoughts.